Hey guys, here are a load of short, sharp, snappy questions for your first topic in AQA Physics, all about energy. If you want to be filling in the questions as we are going along, you can go over to my website and get my free revision guide. Um, also in the free revision guide is the formula sheet that I've written for AQA Physics, which has all of the equations, all of the units that you have to have to have to learn physics. I know there are a lot of them. I know this is really, really painful. To help you with this, you will also find flashcards over there. And I've done a video of the flashcards as well to help you. It's so important that you learn these. There is so, so much stuff coming up for you. Um, whole top videos, loads and loads of summary videos, loads and loads of practice maths questions, because that is now essential in physics. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. What are the different types of energy? You can remember the different types of energy by Geek's Lunch. Now the U doesn't actually stand for anything, so we can just cross that one out, um, which makes a nice word. Gravitational, electric, um, elastic potential energy, kinetic, sound, light, nuclear, chemical and heat. What energy changes happen in a light bulb? So we're going to have electrical going in and then coming out we are going to have light which is our useful energy. We're going to have heat and sound probably which are not useful energies. What energy changes happen in a TV? Again, we are going to have electrical going in. Heat is going to come out as our wasted energy, but then we are going to have light and sound coming out as our useful energy. What does the word system mean? It is a set of things that work together. and these are generally enclosed. The law of conservation of energy is that energy cannot be destroyed and it cannot be created. What is the equation linking kinetic energy, mass and velocity? So, kinetic energy is half mass velocity squared. What are the units of velocity? Velocity is measured in meters per second. What are the units for mass? Mass is measured in kilograms. What are the units for energy? Energy is measured in joules. What is elastic potential energy? This is um, stretching energy. So energy that's stored in like a hairband, an elastic band or in a bungee cord. What is the equation linking elastic potential energy, the spring constant and extension? Elastic potential energy equals half the spring constant extension squared. What are the units for elastic potential energy? Joules. What are the units for the spring constant? That is newtons per metre. What are the units for extension? Metres. What is gravitational potential energy? That is falling energy, or the energy that something that is about to fall has. What is the equation linking gravitational potential energy, mass, gravity and height? That is gravitational potential energy equals mass times gravity times height. What are the units for gravitational potential energy? Like all energy that is measured in joules. The units and the value for gravity is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. What are the units for height? Height is measured in meters. This symbol is the symbol delta and it means change. So delta T 
um, will be change in time or um, change in energy will be delta E. What is specific heat capacity? That is how much heat something can hold or absorb. What is the equation linking change in energy, mass, specific heat capacity, and change in temperature? For this equation, we're looking for change in energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times change in temperature. What are the units for energy? Energy is measured in joules. What are the units for specific heat capacity? Straight and nasty one here. That is joules per kilogram degrees C. You'll notice in here this is a space. What are the units for changing temperature? That is degrees C. What is the equation linking power, energy and time? That is power equals energy divided by time. What are the units for power? Units for power are watts units for time are seconds. This is an area that they might try and test you in the exam by giving something to you in minutes, hours or even days. What is the equation linking power, work done and time? That is power equals work done over time. What are the units for work done? Work done is measured in joules. What happens to waste energy? It dissipates into the surroundings. How can we reduce waste energy? Um, we can reduce it by a number of ways. We can reduce it by reducing um, the friction, so we have things rubbing against each other less. We can reduce it by um, insulation. This is a common one in houses, so that we don't lose um, heat out of windows. Give three examples of insulation that can be used in a house. So we can have loft insulation, we can have cavity wall insulation, we can have carpets, we can have glazing, curtains, um, draft excluders, you can put a hot water jacket on your hot water jacket on your hot water tank. Why is this not 100% efficient? Um, Every single system will, in some part, generate heat um, and that is going to be wasted energy, whether that's heat um, from the electricity, heat from the um, friction, you are going to get heat somewhere. What is the equation for working out efficiency? Efficiency equals... useful over total, whether that is useful um, power or whether that is useful um, energy, it's still the same equation that is useful over total. What are the units for efficiency? This is not necessarily a trick question but a slightly nice question because there are no units. You can give your answer as a decimal or as a percentage, but do not under any circumstances, unless it's the answer, write that and mix up your decimals and your percentages because that's, I'm afraid, is just wrong. Um, different ways we can get energy, so that can be solar, wind, hydroelectric power, geothermal, loads and loads of different ways we can get energy and you need to know about all of them in detail. Or is a renewable resource that is one that doesn't run out? And a finite resource is one that does run out. There we go guys, um, some quick questions to help you with that topic.